What is good friends, we are back with more World Cup action and we got a troll score from Team Spain versus this Italian guy that I still don't know how to pronounce. I think he's 1-1 one and, one and the Italian guy in Trosco is 1-0. Oh. And he does bring a pretty standard bulky offense. I actually built a team that looked exactly like this almost. Like I had Megatar over this and I had... What did I have over Heatran? I don't remember. I actually don't remember what I had over the Heatran. But yeah, bulky offense looks uh, kind of similar a lot of the time, so that makes some sense. So this is probably Specs, Hooper or Band Hooper. We will just rewatch real quick. Uh, yeah, he just natures madness to the top of Bulu turn 1. Then he's just gonna hold each the landers as we saw. This could be Z-move Lando. It's not helmet, it's not lefties. This could be Z-move, yeah. It looks to be offensive Z-move Lando. But yeah, the Muse is just gonna defuck the rocks away, I assume. Yeah, most likely Z-move type of bullet. that's just the Zemo of user that makes the most sense on Trollsco's team. I'm assuming Scarf Greninja, but I'm not 100% sure yet. He might also not have a Scarf on this team. Yeah, if him default Mew, Rocks, Heatran. Not sure if it would be max speed he trend and then defensive Celestealer. stealer. This Mew is annoying as fuck besides the Hooper. But if the Hooper is physical, you um, don't want to switch it into a Will-O-Wisp which is um, potentially really risky. But he goes hard Hooper. I assume he's special, but he kind of took his time to make this play so I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, Hooper doesn't have good switch-ins. Like, I assume Tapu Bulu is gonna take like 45. He does just go for all the will o -Wisp, and it is physical Hooper, which explains why he took so long until he went out into this. So Mew actually beats this one-on-one, -on -one. it's looking really good for Troll's goal. Oh, I think... Did he? He read him really well there. I think he expected this to be physical because he took... If this was special, like he would have never taken so long to send this in. On a potential wisp earlier. <laughs> That's a fast me, holy shit. Or oh, the Hooper is just butt crack. <laughs> yeah, the Mew is either super fast... Oh, the Hooper doesn't run that much, that much speed. I know that some Hoopers run bulk to take on... What's the move called? To live like um, Ductrius Earthquake better, to live Ash Greninja's U-turn. I don't remember the exact spread. But there was like one spread, you take out like something out of attack and you take out something out of speed and you put it in HP. You put it in defense, yeah. I could see him be that Hooper set, or being that Hooper set, however you say that. And he's not even choiced Bennett, because I was about to say that Hyperspace Fury didn't do that much. But yeah, he can't touch this Mew, he was just trying to poison this Mew, because this Mew walls his entire team, kinda. Like, yeah, Mew just beats everything, kinda, one on one. Maybe he should have gone into Tapu Fini first, so he can't get will o on his Hooper, but I'm not sure. I think he didn't expect Trosco to even stay in with the Mew and the Hooper. But the thing is, what, what, is his, what was his switch in? Like, Tapu Bulu is still useful. That was like the only potential switch in. 
and maybe Greninja was a switch in if it if it has U-turn, that was the other option, yeah. In a Stellar Stealer he goes because he doesn't want to risk the Mew getting poisoned. And he can just get up a free Leech Seed here. He goes in the top of Fini. He goes for Heavy Slam. That is a good chunk. He's either going to Nature's Madness or double on the top of Bulu. But double on top of Bulu is also a bit risky because... Yeah, what if this just stays in exactly? He did Heavy Slam, potentially predicting a taunt from the Tapu Fini, predicting this, um, his opponent to predict this to go for Leech Seed. But he just Heavy Slammed again. And the Tapu Fini is really low, but he also took a good chunk on his Celestealer. He doesn't really need to sell a Stealer super healthy for anything specific, but he leech seeds there. Whew. That was a good read. And Moreno, he or however you call this guy, he doubles out, put it in the protect. Nice play. So I assume this is like Theme of Lando, like I said earlier, and this is probably banded then, right? So is they gonna go. Yeah, he's just gonna go for Protect, because if this is... Actually, Protect is a bit risky in case this is Dragon Dance. Like, you don't know guaranteed if he's if he's banded. He could be another threat. Hard into Mew, which makes me think that he... Yeah, that did, that did a lot, which like confirms that the Mew is kind of fast. Which is why he outsped the Hooper. Because, like, usually Mew only takes, like, 45 or 42 from that. If it's, like, bulkier. Yeah, I assume he's gonna go for a softball or ice beam. Yeah, Roost, same thing. And then Mew is probably... If he has Volt Switch, he can go for that. But I don't think he has Volt Switch on this team. But I can definitely see Scarf Greninja with U-turn. Mm, I, this doesn't have taunt, I don't think. Uh, not taunt, I was talking about Scald. But it's not revealed yet. Because if, if this has Scald, it's kind of risky to go hard on the top of Bulu, because you can potentially get burned. So you got Celestine on the Madness. <clears throat> I think he just values health on Tapu Bulu more than on Celesteela. I can see him going for Taunt here. <clears throat> Predicting a Leech Seed. But he just Heavy Slams again, so wow. That did, that did a really good chunk to the Manectric. So he's gonna protect here to get more leftovers. I already got that prediction wrong, man. I thought it would... Like, I thought he would try to Leech Seed and he would try to taunt and break that, but both players made a different play there. Like, you don't lose anything from clicking Protect. And on the next turn, I think you can just go in a Mew because you don't want to go Zygarde and risk a potential HPIs. Yeah, you can either go to Mew or into Heatron on the next turn. He just goes hard into this because he, he knows there's no way he goes for HPIs on this specific turn. I like this play because if he went for protect first, the next turn he could have eventually eventually gone for HPIs predicting this. I would have probably gone to Mew the next turn anyway and I think he would have been fine no matter what. But I also like this play. You can just click 1000 arrows now because... Um, the thing is he might not want to take... he might also try to pivot from this. Yeah, he might want to try to pivot, but that did absolutely nothing, good lord. Manectric is dong. I thought that would do at least 75, but he does show leftovers. So maybe this is a Spadev Zygarde then. I kind of want to cult that. Yeah, that, that does look like a Spadev Zygarde, because there's no way offensive Bandit Zygarde takes... I mean, it's obviously not Bandit, because we saw leftovers. 
but that damage was just dong. Like, I don't think Magnetic is that bad. Like, that bounced the fuck off. But he can. I don't know if Trosco wants to go hard on the top of Bulu. He might just go back into Mew and threaten this with Ice Beam or Bulu with. But yeah, I just want to see if this is the standard Spadef Zygarde set. Uh, Subcoil takes 49 to 59 from HP Ice. And it did, it did 60, so he has a little bit less Spadef. He did just go Mew and he got a low roll this time, so you can just roost it back up. Play it safe. So Misty Terrain gets uh, set up again. If it does miss an edge's madness, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, this type of bull is a big problem. Scarf type of bullet is like a little bit of an option, but I don't think he's scarf type of bullet. Or just, I just hit my mic, my bad. Like on this team, scarf type of bullet doesn't make much sense to me. Hard heat turn. It doubles into Landris, he said. I've had enough of making plays now. Um, He's just gonna go back into Mew here. Because Earthquake is gonna bounce off the Mew because of Grassy Terrain. And Stealth Rocky can just default away. SD into Z move might be a different story. SD into Z move is a bit scary. And Trosco might be forced to sec something if he goes for SD and has Z move. I could see him second the Subtle Stealer if the Landers SD is here on the switch. Meta has developed from Pex Expert Wilding to Mew Expert Wilding. Yeah, Mew is so common at the moment, it's crazy. Hard good ninja on the sword stand. Somebody stop this man. Holy shit. That was a fire play, yeah. So you can threaten this with an ice beam. If he's if he's super aggressive, he can U-turn here, but he has no reason to make that play. Like I don't think I would risk that. I'm pretty sure Moreno or whatever you call this guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can't, really don't know how to call it. I'm pretty sure he's gonna switch. So like, if you're really feeling it, you can U-turn here, but I would not recommend U-turning. It's a bit too risky. He just goes for Dark Pool, so he's Ash Greninja. So that um, that probably confirms that he's not Scarf Greninja. So not now I'm not sure anymore. I mean, you can see he has a bulky team. He has like double priority. This will have water shooting. This will have e. Actually, this might not have e speed because it's bulky. It might have toxic instead. So like, I'm not sure anymore if he could be. Scarf Tren or Scarf Bulu. Yeah, he's just gonna go back into Mew here. Uh, another option would have been obviously the Tapu Bulu. And he's gonna roost back up. And it's like, Southern Arrows only have 16 PP, so like... If he only brings the Mew in on the Zygarde, he can always roost off. And he will have enough roost PP. Equal to Southern Arrows PP, kinda. Yeah, this Mew's interesting spread. I would be... I would like to know the spread. <laughs> like, it still takes Bandit's Dagger decently well, the T-Arrows. And it's also fast enough for the Hooper. Like, if that was Jolly Hooper, that's crazy if Mew's that bulky still with that much speed. But I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I think he just goes back in the top of Bulu. But he keeps making the Celestila play. Um, maybe, I'm not sure if he's like, oh, this time he makes the Tom play. 
But he just keeps clicking heavy slam. He's just pretty adamant about not clicking leech seed. And he keeps getting that play correct. Like this time he got him on a taunt. Last time I think he switched out. Like going to Celestila instead of Tapu Bulu. Would it cover some potential double switch that I can't think about? I'm not really sure. I don't think so. He's probably gonna switch into Heatran. He goes into Mew instead. Yeah, I don't see the Landra staying in here at all. We don't know the last move on a Mew yet. It could be Ice Beam, it could be Psychic. I do think his team is really annoyed by Toxapex. Like his best way of beating it is like Zygarde, but Zygarde has to avoid getting burned if it's a one-on-one -on -one scenario. And if there's no Misty Terrain. Like Misty Terrain comes from the opponent, his own team doesn't have Misty Terrain. And Greninja flinching it down is another option, and I don't know if the type of Bulu is SDF. It could be Scarf, like I'm not sure anymore because this isn't Scarf. Like I'm thinking one of these two is Scarf, or he just relies on the bulky mountain and doesn't have a Scarfer. I assume he's gonna go for Stealth Rock here, yeah. Mm, SD is another option. And Trosko, Trosko is either gonna make a wild play and go hard Greninja again, or hard Mew, or he can just go for Leech Seed and play like safe. <laughs> Never hard another time Greninja. Don't you get banned for ghosting? I mean, it's not really ghosting, but like. I think you're not allowed to say anything like this in the chat. <laughs> Last moves are toxic in HP5, Flame Victini. Okay. This is getting kinda old and this is not really funny anymore. But yeah, Flame Victini did have a Landrus that was walled by. Yeah, it was Protect, Stealth Rogue, HP Fire, Toxic, if I recall correctly. It was walled by Heatran. But yeah, I'm not gonna make fun of Flame Victini's goat. I think uh, Stealth Rock is the like safest play, like you didn't really lose much from clicking that. Because if he doesn't go hard into Mew to defog them away, you can potentially apply some pressure and try to stop him from defogging, but it's hard, it's hard as fuck because Mew kind of walls the entire team, right? He does go for SD and barely lives. So he's gonna call it now. I assume he's Continental Crush and he's just gonna blow something away. Like he's just probably gonna Calc if a regular Stone Edge can kill this. But yeah, this is already looking kinda good for for Trolls go like overall. Yeah, this Landris is a threat, but it's at 3% now, and if the Landris goes down, Rocks will never go up, that's his only Stealth Rock user. And he does just decide to go for Rocks, potentially predicting a Protect there. And we do see it's a Spadaf Celestealer, which is pretty uh, common. To check stuff like uh, Tapu Lele. Greninja, Mikiena, even though it's not the best Mikiena answer in my opinion because some carry Gigavolt Havoc. So just scout what it locks himself into, itself into. And Mew is gonna take a good amount here. And he's actually faster, so he's gonna stay in here, predicting the roost. But the Mew can just stay in and he's eventually gonna switch out, fearing the Will-O-Wisp, so this is fine. This is a fine play by Trosko. I can see that Nature's Madness coming out here, if Trosko wants to defog. I don't know if the trend came out yet, but... I, th I think it came at once, but it didn't show the moves that it has. But 
I think I'm thinking one of those two might be the Z-Move users and the other one might be Scarf, but I'm not sure he might also not have a Scarf or like I said earlier already. He goes Tapu Bullet this time, which is understandable because he wants to keep the Mew healthy. And that he looks like a god now because he got it in a taunt, not even a Nature's Madness. Doubles out into Mew to get off the defog. Um, pretty well played, like pretty amazing play because a great play. He has the grassy terrain to help this Mew get healthy. Like he basically got rid of all the stereo damage he took with leftovers and grassy terrain. And rocks are gone and Lanus is dead, so rocks are never gonna go back up again. And yeah, the Nature's Madness miss is definitely a bit unfortunate, but I think this match was in Trosco's favor anyways. But yeah, that's definitely really annoying. So I assume he's gonna go for Leech Seed here. Trosco might go for Protect. He might also just harden the Heatran. I think it's not worth the risk to try and go Tapu Bulu on a Leech Seed. And pivot into Heatran. And yeah, Moreno just realizes. I know someone left a comment how to pronounce this guy IRL or in real life or something like that, but... It was like a week ago and I don't really remember it, so <laughs> it's my bad. Yeah, like the game was pretty much over at this point. Like they could have played it out for like 15 more minutes. But the Huber was burned and was physical, so it wasn't doing anything. We saw that you basically walled the entire team. And if Tapofini got chipped down, Ash Guninja would have eventually gotten the Ash form off. And yeah, well played by Trosco. I think he is 2 and 0 now. He picks up the win for Team Spain. I will thank you guys. I thank you guys for watching. And I will see you later with more World Cup coverage. I do need uh, some sleep, but there might be lefties playing in the next 30 minutes or the next hour or so. That might be worth to stay up for. So I see you with that. And goodbye, friends. Have a nice day.